ফাইল করছে না আজকে হিয়ারিং ডেট হয়েছে গত নয় তারিখ তো আমরা ইমার্জেন্সি ফাইল করছিলাম ওই এলেকশন কমিশন অর্ডার নিয়ে আসার পরে ডেট কাউন্টিং এজেন্ট ক্যান বি এনি ওয়ান আউটসাইড অব দি টিটি এডিসি ভোটার তাহলে আমরা ওইটার নিয়ে সেরা উই হ্যাভ চ্যালেঞ্জ অ্যান্ড অন দ্যাট পার্টিকুলার ডে কোর্ট হ্যাজ অবজার্ভ and we have uh, challenged the entire uh, procedures then uh, finally the court uh, has actually referred the date and that is today 23rd so the ask is that the uh, government uh, advocate man time chaisela maske 10 din er jonno time chaise they have set the time for 10 days then there after uh, honorable uh, chief justice uh, have asked that uh, election is over the counting is over and uh, uh, you have come to the power and the swearing ceremony has over so uh, this case has become an uh, infraction so what is the uh, point of continuing this case and then i particularly uh, requested the uh, uh, honorable uh, saying that the matter is not that that we have won or that the counting is over that the government has been formed the very question is the basic structure or the basic feature of the indian constitution has been actually violated and has been altered by the election commissions of the state the only reason is can the election commission of the state can simply bring the casual order by simply notifying saying that any one outside of the tt adc booter can be a counting agent now we knew that the very rules of the tt adc elections and the conduct and business rule 1985 has been enacted and it is totally separate entity now the express intention of the legislature is to be questions why this act has been uh, enacted is basically the separate provision has been made now how can the state election commission utter this even the parliament cannot because the basic feature of the indian constitution remains as it is and only through the proper procedures the amendment can be actually amended but without the pro- uh, proper procedure the the law cannot be enacted and even that even if you follow the proper uh, procedures the basic feature of the indian constitution is still remain the same now the very uh, six schedule is an indian constitutions it is under the indian constitutions and it is the parliament uh, that has enacted but now today state cannot you know uh, amend or state cannot interfere under this uh, basic feature of the indian constitution so then i have uh, requested uh, honorable chief justice saying that although the election is over although the counting is over although the government is being formed all the swearing has uh, been already uh, done but tomorrow the municipality election will come which is again separate entity and the panchayat election will come and the assembly election will come if this casual order is to be followed as a procedure of the law then mean we actually uh, violates the entire a uh, basic feature of the indian constitution otherwise tomorrow we can bring someone from uh, delhi someone from tamil nadu someone from kerala to be the counting agents or to be uh, the candidate or whatever then why there is a necessity for this act to be separately enacted so looking at that i have requested that in future it should not affect the uh, 
the entire procedures and it should not violate the basic structure of the Indian constitution. So therefore, I have requested that this uh, case or this kind of uh, intention should not be actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, carried out in future so that the entire uh, procedures, the entire structure of the uh, Indian uh, basic uh, constitution will be altered and destroyed. So therefore, then the uh, Honorable uh, Chief Justice said the election is still uh, far away, the future is still far away. So as of now, uh, keeping in the view that in future all these things should not take place and keeping in view, I think we should not continue this case further. Uh, therefore, Amra, a case that close Korea, Dibo, it is Amra Korsula. But Tobu Ami, Ava request Korsi that although five years is pending, but that uh, president is that uh, election, I go, it will to destroy the war. Good question, I will to destroy the war. So we'll see further if this kind of casual order comes, then we'll see to it. So with that uh, kind of uh, yes. assurance, I also like agree because it is uh, honorable uh, Chief Justice view and observations that uh, if he wish that this case should not be continued, and this case should be closed down, keeping into view and observation, then I said it is okay. But I have requested, as I have said, the, the very purpose of the act that has been in act uh, is totally separate entity and the Sikh schedule is an Indian constitution and it is a uh, parliamentary law that has been in act and the State Election Commission has no power to alter or to give a casual order. So these are the views and keeping in that could also say that the, they have actually followed the procedure of uh, Rule 52, but that has been actually produced during the time of hearing on 9. But prior to that, they have actually revoked that, the first order and they have, you know, uh, brought back to the uh, new new order as per the Rule 52 of the um, uh, 1985 TTADC uh, rules business elections conduct too. So keeping in that view, and we have faith into uh, the Honorable Court that has actually observed and that has given the patient hearing to our concerns. I think in future, uh, government or the State Election Commissions uh, will be alert before they uh, bring any actions uh, to any procedures. I think keeping and Keeping that proof to the Honorable Court, we have agreed and whatever the court has given the judgment, we are okay and we understand hope in future that there will be no this kind of such uh, casual order or such casual intentions to actually disrupt the very basic, uh, basic feature of the Indian Constitution. So believing in that and having in good faith to the Honorable uh, Court, we have agreed and to close down the case. That's okay. all. Thank you very much.